Why is your aortic valve important? It's the valve that must open to allow blood with oxygen to be pumped from the left ventricle of your heart to the rest of your body. So if your aortic valve becomes tight, the rest of your body is not going to get enough oxygen and this is a problem. Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley. Today I'm going to talk about aortic stenosis or tightening of the aortic valve and why it's important to get a valve replacement if you develop severe aortic stenosis. Essentially, if you don't get your valve replaced in time, you will likely develop irreversible heart failure. Your aortic valve is subject to a lot of stress over a lifetime and it's common to see the aortic valve degenerate but still remain a functional valve. This condition is called aortic sclerosis, and it's seen in about 25% of people over the age six, of age 65 and 50% of people over age 85. So pretty common. Of those, about 2% will develop a tight aortic valve called aortic stenosis every year. Once you have developed aortic stenosis or tight aortic valve, your aortic valve will get tighter every year and there's no medical treatment to stop this progression. A severely tight aortic valve will eventually cause symptoms like shortness of breath or chest pain. At this point, an aortic valve replacement is recommended. Severe aortic stenosis is seen in about 3% of people over age 75. The problem with a tight aortic valve is that it increases the pressure of blood pushing against the walls of the left ventricle. Over time, this pressure overload increases wall stress. So talking about the wall of the left ventricle. In order to keep pumping blood effectively, your heart must build more muscle, making the left ventricular wall even thicker. For a while, the heart is able to compensate for the pressure overload by building more muscle. Over time, however, this compensation strategy will fail. This is pathologic left ventricular hypertrophy. In contrast, the muscular wall of your left ventricle can also hypertrophy with regular endurance exercise, but in this case, it's considered physiologic or healthy. In athletes, the growth of heart muscle is triggered by growth factors like insulin, like growth factor 1, IGF-1, which then activates the same mTOR signaling pathway that causes skeletal muscle hypertrophy. However, in an athlete's heart, there is an adequate number of new blood vessels created to support the growing heart muscle. Cardiac muscle cells are not dying off in this case due to lack of oxygen. Thus, there is no fibrosis or scar tissue. The pathological left ventricular hypertrophy seen in aortic stenosis is different. When your aortic valve gets tight, blood backs up into the left ventricle because it can't get out as well causing pressure overload in that chamber. This triggers the release of catecholamines such as endothelin and angiotensin II. These chemicals activate a different signaling pathway, which instead causes unhealthy muscle growth or pathologic hypertrophy. So in this case, the hypertrophy is unhealthy as opposed to in an in endurance athlete where it's healthy. In this scenario, in severe aortic stenosis, you don't generate an adequate number of new blood vessels to support the growing muscles of the left ventricular wall. Some of the heart muscle cells die off and are replaced with scar tissue or fibrosis. Fibrosis is a common reaction of your body to deal with inflammation or injury. If you cut your hand, for example, the scar that forms is an example of fibrosis. When your heart muscle cells are replaced by enough scar tissue, your heart is no longer able to function normally. If your severely tight aortic valve is not replaced with a new valve in time, 
they were more likely to have heart muscle replaced by scar tissue. And this can lead to heart failure, which is not typically reversible. On the positive side, there have been amazing advances in the technology behind aortic valve replacement. In most cases, it's no longer necessary to undergo open heart surgery to have your aortic valve replaced. The recent introduction of trans catheter aortic valve replacement, or TABR for short, has made it much easier to replace a tight aortic valve, even in an 80 year old. Thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful for you.